downline officers are on their toes. I can observe the wives. They have passed a madam admin to the on a foreign tour for the last 10 days signing MOUs one after the other. Welcome madam. And uh, earlier we used to call ma'am also of the because it should be a relevant relevance at this stage the sense queen be. And uh, Santa Morris, we know what the what the importance of queen will be. And that's how things are uh, moving uh, we are hovering around of course. We are hovering around and uh, Robert Punarat and about him sir, welcome sir. And uh, I have been interacting with him since he landed in Kwamthor. Kwamthor is a first time but to India he is uh, visiting since 1996, that's what I can know from him. And uh, only one line sir, he has produced madam 31 PhD. Produced 31 PhD. <laughs> I have been rallying around with her and uh, sometimes with a gap somewhere in between. Uh, who is holding? Uh, it is our uh, madam. And before Dr. James Nickinson starts with this, and uh, we are getting into a small uh, honor giving moments. Like we want to just madam. And uh, honor to our Vice Chancellor Dean Mayu. And the Vice Chancellor Robert Schumacher. Welcome, sir. I'm looking to tackle the question of uh, how climate change is impacting varieties of mango both in here in India and back home in Australia. So in the, the growing regions that we've been working with, uh, there has been some modelling done by our local government which suggests that within the next 50 years the, um, the, the yields will decline by about 45%. So this is very alarming and it looks like even by the end of the century that where our main growing region will be unsuitable for mango production. First, as you were all aware, for years from 2015 to 2021 were the warmest on record for the globe. The mean global temperatures for the period 2018 to 2022 are estimated to be around 1.2 degrees above those from 1850 to 1900 and of course these predictions are that it will rapidly rise. The sixth IPPC report in 2022 concluded a number of things. First, climate impacts are already more widespread and more severe than was expected. Two, the risks will escalate with higher temperature, often causing irreversible changes climate change. Three, inequity, conflict and development changes will heighten the vulnerability to climate risks and their impacts. Overall, at our own local level, we all notice that the winters are getting warmer, that the summers generally are getting hotter that there are changes in rainfall patterns, such as onset of monsoon, more severe and more frequent storms and flooding, but at the same time, also incidents of drought. We're not even clear about what are the key pollinators of mango in many production areas. Maybe we have some data on the floral visitors, but not necessarily <coughs> detailed information on their effectiveness as pollinators. In many villages, it's part of the social fabric. And so I, I commend everybody who has been talking about working with... collaborating. I welcome all the horticulturists, Dr. Mani, my senior, and Brabra, and uh, my fellow colleague, uh, university officers. So, uh, as a dean postgraduate studies, sir, we, Tamil Nadu Agriculture Universities, we are ready to go east with the Western Sydney University to take more students. We are ready to host because we have well established international uh, facility to host the students and we have very good experience on the hosting the international students. So I think they definitely will enjoy the Coimbatore climate and also the Tamil Nadu when they visit here with the mango, big mango growing areas. When I saw this uh, topic, really it is a very interesting. 
actually this uh, we know that agriculture production is uh, completely it is depending upon the climate change so it is a great impact on the crop productivity so whenever we see the uh, we have to ensure the food security for increasing the population so for that the farmer should produce more that is a more 50 percentage more by 2050 in the food production mango is uh, highly affected by climate change because the flowering uh, period and flowering induction is highly associated with the climate okay so uh, here climate change affect uh, mostly plant growth and development process that is vegetative growth, flowering, fruiting and fruit quality are highly vulnerable to climate change. Two major parameters of climate change that is uh, erratic rainfall and high temperature spells which are uh, consequently expected to reduce crop productivity. Important commercial variety of western birds our international workshop. I hope you have attended these uh, deliberations in the early morning. It would be have uh, useful for you. And uh, everyone, all, all of you are working for the ICRIP pro, uh, program and the honeybee pollinators. So everybody is knowing everything. So we know the importance of the pollinators. So as I told this, we know the importance of the pollinators. So they play. The madam also very much, uh, both the madams have very much deliberately deliberated about the importance of the climate change. So uh, since due to the global warming there is a number of changes happening in the climate which affects the activity of the pollinators. Without pollinator we cannot get the yield, mango yield, we cannot reap the yield. So there is a very important uh, role of the entomologist to uh, increase the activity by way of different act uh, improvements. So we are playing a key role in the mango production in the world and also the, in India also. Being in a tough tone for cooperation among world countries, uh, uh, we are having a program in line with that in DNA and this is a proud moment, moment for all our scientists. So to add uh, our, to ignite the spark, I would like to welcome our uh, Honorable Vice Chancellor to deliver the presidential address. And uh, uh, all my uh, university officers sitting on the dais, uh, so all, you know, like all vibrant people, they are sitting here on the dais. And you know, like uh, um, climate change, everybody talked so much about climate change. Yes, it is definite that climate is changing and you know, like uh, the temperatures are increasing. Now, there is a greater debate is happening whether we will be able to limit the temperature increase to 1.5 degrees Celsius from the pre-industrial era. So that's where a lot of uh, debates are going on and also we are trying to see what impact this 1.5 degrees Celsius if we limit it, what impact it would have on different sectors including agriculture. Mango is one crop which is greatly affected by changes in the climatic conditions, especially cool nights will induce flowering but at the same time after that the temperature should increase if we want to have better kind of a fruit set and kind of things. And not only the number of fruits, but the quality of the fruit is also very, very important. The changing climatic conditions will affect the quality of the fruit as well. One of the important areas people have to work. And you know, uh, we have been concentrating too much on the food crops because food is the one thing which is really um, uh, should get satisfied with our food security kind of thing. But these fruits and vegetables are falling a greater um, importance because of the nutritional security point of view. And also these are all some of the things which are choice based crops. And this will have a lot of value for the foreign export and kind of thing. So we have to concentrate and work on this. The second thing is coming to the bees, honeybees and other pollinators. They are also highly sensitive to the changes in the climatic condition. It's the right time that we need to concentrate on these uh, changes and the impact on these pollinators as well. So, uh, because these are some of the crops where the pollination is aided by the pollinator. So, we have to definitely concentrate on these verticals. So, it's, it's a very pertinent that they have chosen this particular topic and you know like a there is a possibility for the cross-sectoral and also multidisciplinary team research is possible here. Because when you talk about mango, you cannot forget horticulture people. When you are talking about climate change, you cannot forget about the management side. But if you are talking about the pollinators, definitely you have to consider the entomology. So it is a great thing that multidisciplinary kind of research is uh, order of the day and it is finding a place. 
and uh, uh, thank you very much for considering Tamil Nadu Agricultural University and I'm doubly thankful to you because you are going to support one of our students to study in Australia and, uh, um, and I think uh, um, you are also competing for this particular program. Very good. So you see, now itself there is a cross-discipline meteorology student is also going to compete for the one one of the nine students. Uh, so it's good that any one of you, whoever gets it, it's a great opportunity, and I wish you all the success. And I'm sure you will enjoy the culture, you will enjoy the different kind of an environment, and make use of it. And all the very best for the great uh, two days workshop. A uh, lot of deliberations will happen in these two days and it's, it's really important. Uh, take home message is really important and I'm sure you will synthesize this into a, some recommendations kind of thing for all of us to follow it up. Thank you so much. I wish a very great success for the two days workshop and my best wishes to all my students for your success. Thank you. Uh, delivering the presidential address to all of us and I think the uh, experience uh, that uh, you had for the first time in uh, when you went to uh, Australia and uh, starting with that and uh, you gave a lot of tips uh, for the multidisciplinary work that uh, the Australian people will be taking uh, and uh, we also will be joining them in that uh, journey. Uh, so thanks a lot ma'am for the very nice uh, uh, presidential address. I also would like to thank our um, and director, Center for Plant Protection Studies. Our thanks are due to uh, Dr. Robert Spoonahar, uh, who has been uh, in association with us for the last uh, seven or eight years. I met him for the first time. So thanks a lot for coming and uh, delivering the keynote address, sir. And I thank uh, James uh, for having come here and also given a brief account about the program. Uh, uh, so we are thankful to you, sir address uh, about how uh, uh, he, he himself being a mango grower, uh, farmer and so we are very thankful to all of you.